One year ago, Volodymyr Zelensky, a comedian and businessman with no political experience, became Ukraine's sixth president. Five months after Zelensky's victory, Ukraine was swept up in a huge international scandal. U.S. President Donald Trump was accused of withholding nearly $400 million in military aid to Ukraine in order to pressure Zelensky. Trump allegedly demanded that Ukraine launch an investigation into his political rival, former Vice President Joseph Biden. The release of a rough transcript of a call between Trump and Zelensky triggered the impeachment inquiry in the U.S. Trump denied any wrongdoing. During the election campaign, Zelensky continuously emphasized that the war in eastern Ukraine must stop. To fulfill this promise, he chose a path of diplomacy and negotiations. The Ukrainian president revived the Normandy format meetings between the leaders of Germany, France, Ukraine, and Russia. The main aim of the meeting was to negotiate the end of the war in Ukraine's Donbas region, which is partially occupied by Russia. The gathering of the Normandy Four took place in Paris on December 9, 2019. It was the first and only time when Zelensky met his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. Zelensky has also agreed to implement the so-called Steinmeier formula for bringing peace to the Donbass. The main idea of the formula is to hold elections in the occupied parts of the Donbass according to Ukrainian law, and later to give the area self-governance. For local elections in the occupied territories to take place, Ukraine demanded that the Russian-led militants should disarm and return control of the border with Russia to Ukraine. But Russia insisted that the border would be returned only after elections took place. Today, Russian-backed forces continue to attack Ukrainian troops. But Zelensky had some success in his dealings with Russia. His team negotiated the release of 131 Ukrainians from Russian captivity in three prisoner swaps. However, Zelensky included five former Berkut riot police officers suspected of murdering activists during the Euromaidan revolution in one of the prisoner exchanges. Their release triggered protests in Ukraine. Zelensky has also been ignoring the lustration law that bars officials who worked for the government of ex-president Yanukovych from holding public office. Zelensky's first chief of staff was Andriy Bogdan, who had worked in government under Yanukovych. During a recent press conference, Zelensky said that the lustration law was illegal and should be adjusted. Zelensky promised that he wouldn't have secret dealings with oligarchs, but broke his promise. Zelensky secretly met with oligarchs like Viktor Pinchuk and Ihor Kolomoisky, the former owner of Privatbank, before its 2016 nationalization. But despite the meetings with Kolomoisky, Zelensky managed to ensure the stability and security of state-owned Privatbank, Ukraine's largest bank. The president promoted the adoption of a bank law that banned its return to Kolomoisky. Parliament passed the law on May 13th. Zelensky actively promoted lifting the long-standing moratorium on selling Ukrainian farmland. On March 30th, Parliament passed the land bill, allowing Ukrainians and Ukraine-based companies to buy a maximum of 100 hectares of land starting in July 2021. And despite all the criticism of Zelensky, the most recent polls show that 68% of Ukrainians approve of his first year in office.